Hi, I'm Martin Cohen, founder of LP. 25 years ago, we introduced a series of vinyl recordings called drum solos that introduced percussionists around the world to the art of drum soloing. Drum Solos Revisited features 15 of New York City area's top percussionists performing five tunes. With each tune, you have a beginner, intermediate, and advanced performance of the solo. I'm delighted to have Ralphie Irizarry here with us to introduce you to each of the tunes to give you some insight into them. Hi, before we get started, let me mention that the five original compositions and arrangements performed on this DVD were provided by Samuel Torres, a multi-talented percussionist who gives us a look into different styles, tempos, and instrumentations in the Latin genre. This tune is titled Song in Guajira. It's a typical Cuban Guajira with some added modern harmonies. Here the soloists are Jorge Gonzalez, Eddie Montalvo, and myself. We're going to demonstrate how you let a solo breathe by going back and forth from the accompaniment to the soloing. Check this out.
keeping with the traditional Cuban Guajira, Jorge, Eddie, and myself continue to give you more classic riffs played by musicians all over. Latin percussionists often play in double time feel. The Cuban Guajira is perfect for this. It's slow tempoed, and Jorge, Eddie, and myself use this as a vehicle to play in double time feel.
Express to Queens is a Descarga jazz tune that mixes classic Cuban jam session bass lines with contemporary New York style jazz. We have the talents of Chucky Lopez on bongos, Samuel Torres on congas, and Tony Escapa on timbales. They each display an understanding of basic, simple riffs. Try and follow along. the same simple riffs, Chucky, Samuel, and Tony now begin to elaborate and get busy on the solos. Thank you. 
In improvising on Latin percussion instruments, I must state that the range of advanced solos can be that of a tasteful, simple solo to a technically developed solo. Shown clearly here by Chucky Lopez, who takes a tasteful solo by placing riffs around the clave, whereas Samuel and Tony choose to get into the meat of the song by using their technical developed improvisational skills. The title of this tune is Southern Landscape. It's a contemporary 6-8 where we add different colors by adding the drums, batas, and a vocalist. Featured on this is Jose Jusino on bangos, Eric Velez on congas, and Jimmy Delgado on timbales. At the beginner's level, the actual 6-8 pattern is used as a reference to develop the solo.
Now at the intermediate level, Jose, Eric, and Jimmy begin to add more melodic features into the solo. Now at the advanced stages, Jose, Eric, and Jimmy start thinking of whole phrases and melodic phrases in the 6-8 pattern.
title of this tune is Crazy Montuno. Crazy Montuno is a combination of some Montuno and rock, clearly shown by the use of the electric guitar kick and snare over a some Montuno feel. The soloists are Johnny Rivero on congas, Harry Adorno on timbales, and Orlando Vega on bongos. Now we introduce a different aspect of soloing, the trading aspect. Johnny, Harry, and Orlando now are trading eight bars apiece. Check it out. Now listen to how Johnny, Harry, and Orlando develop one of the principles of trading, and that's to develop one idea in particular over an eight bar pattern. Check it out.
Now at the advanced stage, Johnny, Harry, and Orlando are listening carefully to what the others play, and they are matching the intensity lick for lick. This tune is titled Rumba Fonora. Even though it's a true rumba columbia rhythm in all its intensity, you can't help from feeling a subtle smoothness, a sweet melody that's portrayed by the soprano sax and the backbeat of the drums. Featured are Calito Soto on bangos, Pedro Martinez on congas, and Ernesto Simpson on the timbales. In order to simplify soloing on faster tempo tunes like this rumba, Carlitos, Pedro, and Ernesto choose the solo emphasizing the downbeats.
for the intermediate solos, Carlito Pedro and El Neto now choose not only to play on the downbeats, but they start using syncopation and they start also playing on the upbeats. Now we're at the advanced stage and Calitos, Pedro and Ernesto are really giving it their all. Please check out how they are not only playing on the downbeats, on the upbeats, but now they are in and out of the two bar clave pattern. You truly must feel the clave second naturedly to be able to improvise at this level.
that's it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this DVD as much as we enjoyed putting the solos down. Don't forget to pace yourself, give yourself some time, and have a great time taking Latin percussion solos.